begin tonight with a staggering breach of security, of trust and of faith. The National Redress Scheme, which was set up to support thousands of victims of institutional child sexual abuse, 10 News First has uncovered a bureaucratic bungle that simply beggars belief. The uploading of a victim's private and harrowing details to another survivor's MyGov account. Political reporter Claire Barnes has this exclusive story. I think heads should roll. The government should be made accountable for this. This, this, is, this is huge. There is nothing more serious, and the government has some answering to do. When Leonard McCandless logged on to MyGov, nothing could have prepared him for what was waiting. It was literally like a car crash. You see it, and you know you shouldn't look, but you look anyway. On his personal account, the private details of a complete stranger. It's all supposed to be secure. You know, no one's supposed to get your information, um, especially information like that. Twelve pages of highly confidential information, including the person's address, phone number, bank account details and Centrelink number. But most shocking, their application to the National Redress Scheme, outlining the sexual abuse they'd suffered. I wanted to cry because I was reading... Um, some of the stuff that had happened to them and it was harrowing. And deeply disturbing for Leonard as a survivor himself. I'm concerned about my details. I'm concerned about everyone else's details. When you applied for the National Redress, you were told your privacy and confidentiality was paramount. It was really important because most people that have been through what we've been through are, you know, dead or in jail. The person's application has since been removed from Leonard's MyGov account, but has left victims of institutional abuse and their advocates reeling. I'm speechless that, um, that they could make such a huge error. How this has happened, I do not know, but it should never have happened. And it beg beggars the question as to, is this the only one? The opposition claims it isn't, with 10 similar breaches linked to the National Redress Scheme last year. What we're calling for is an investigation into how this happened, how often it's happened. Especially for an agency which has exposed the very people it was set up to protect. Government has a responsibility under the Privacy Act to absolutely safeguard this type of information and uh, that is a cast iron uh, obligation on their part. Human error, extremely distressing, unreservedly sorry. They're all statements made by the Department of Social Services when contacted by 10 News First. It's now trying to get to the bottom of how this bureaucratic breach could ever have happened to ensure no other vulnerable victims have to endure the same violation. I haven't read it all and I don't intend on reading it all. Um, just should never have happened. Claire Barnes for 10 News First.